Hello friends, welcome to the S3 Cloud Hub. In the previous session, we created a Node.js Docker container. Now in this session, we will build a PHP image. So without any further ado, let's start the session. Now note that, this lesson is optional, some new concepts will appear, but the function of this lesson will be to show off how Docker can create diverse kinds of images across multiple languages and platforms. I think by having a diversity of examples, we're best equipped to figure out how to create our own custom containers, when it comes to a new language or framework we haven't used before. Alright, let's begin creating this new Docker image. So here, I am on my Docker directory. Now I am going to create a PHP directory, and navigate into it, so mkdir, php, then cd, php to change into that directory. Now let's open it up in our code editor. So it is going to open a VS code editor. Now here I am going to create two files. First one is the docker file. And for the PHP container, we'll create this index.php file, which will be a server-side generated HTML file with script. So the docker file will take care of creating the docker image. But let's start by making the server-side HTML with the PHP with PHP by having a pair of HTML tags first. Now between this tags, here we can create a PHP tag. So first have a pair of tags. And here both sides we need question marks. And here we say PHP. And in here we write PHP code. So here if we want to generate a string we can use echo. And here let's say hello world. From a PHP container. Here we can write any content but this is just a nice quick message. So we now have PHP file, with an inner PHP script. Now with the Docker file, let's construct our image. Here on top of the file, we will specify that, we are basing our image of PHP. So I am going to use, from PHP, and here no need to specify a tag since we will use latest by default. Then we will copy our local file, index file, to the container directory and this will make an index.php automatically. And next, let's specify the default command for this image, that will run once any container based off of its start. We will use the exact format of the cmd keyword, and we will say php and dash s, as our argument. So php contain a built-in web server with limited features for app development. It's perfect for our case and we can use it with dashes to serve up the first file that it finds. So then as the final argument for this, we are gonna want to tell it where to host the server. So how about 0.0.0.0, which is the default route to open connections to the containers ports where its servers are accepting connections. And then with the column we can specify the actual port, which is 3000. So we now have enough to build the image. However, before we move on, let's add a line above our default CMD. The marks that we deliberately are exposing port 3000 within this container. So here, let's say expose 3000. This line now is more informational than functional. It doesn't actually publish the container port to the Docker host machine. Rather it's there so that future developers on the project can know to expose port 3000 when running the container. So now let's build and run the container. So let's open up a new terminal. Now here, let's say docker build, from this local path with the dot, then dash t, and here I am going to use my username, and slash php. And we are going to build image, it has to pull up from docker hub since we haven't used it yet, but pretty soon it will copy over the index file and then we'll be able to see our running container once we run it from this completed and built image. And there it is. So now we can run this container. Let's call php, so use docker run, dash dash php, and now we publish a port, let's say 3000, and 3000, and this is something we know to do again from that expose line. And now we can use our localu built image, with username, slash php. And as we do so, our new container seems to be running. So let's go ahead and visit a new window in our browser. So here we gonna go to localhost, and then 3000, which is our published host port. And here you can see we get, 
Hello world from PHP container. So now we have a running container, giving us information from the container. I hope you all guys understand the concept. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below, I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.